Greetings, friends. Today is our very first read aloud in our weekly series, and today we are reading Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. This is one of my favorite stories because the illustrator, Maurice, he uses wonderfully detailed images to show you the adventures of Max, our main character, as he adventures in to where the wild things live. Before we get started, please check out the activity that goes with this book today on this website. It is great practice for students, grades kindergarten through third, to understand characters better using illustrations as evidence. In the story, the main character, Max, sometimes he'll feel sad, and the illustrations are clues to that. How do you look when you feel sad? Sometimes I look like this. When you feel happy, how do you look? And guess what? The characters in the story, they are illustrated to show those emotions as well. Be sure to check that out. Now let's get started. Where the wild things are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. Whoa. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. Check out his facial expression. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the worlds all around him. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max as he sailed through the night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to a place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still and tamed them with a magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Ooh. Check out Max's face. How do you think he's feeling in these images? The author doesn't use words. So you have to use the pictures to tell what's happening in the story. Mm, check them out now. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. 
Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being the king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried. Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and throughout a day and into the night of his very own room where he found supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Leave and